Josh Hawley is the Attorney General for the state of Missouri. He is also the candidate for Claire McCaskill's Senate seat uh, later this year. Josh, it's good to talk to you this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Hey, Josh, what, uh, what was your reaction when you got the news that Governor Greitens was actually going to step down and at that point we sort of came to figure out uh, eliminate at least part of the, uh, uh, of the charges and the problems he was facing? Well, look, this is the right thing to do for the state. The governor has made the right decision here. This has been a tough time for our state these last few months, and this is an opportunity now to move on. I'm cheering for incoming Governor Parson. I think he's going to be great. He's going to do a great job for the state. And, of course, uh, my office stands ready to assist the new governor in the transition. And for our part and for my part, we're going to go on serving as the state's top prosecutor and doing my job. And uh, whether that means taking on sex traffickers or sex predators, big tech, big pharma, I'm going to keep on doing it. You know, some people, and there's a commercial running that said the part of your job was to investigate the governor, and the commercial says you had 12 months to do so. What's your version of that charge? Well, I think my record on this is pretty clear. Uh, you know, we have, uh, look, I was elected by, with more votes than anybody to serve as the state top prosecutor, and that's exactly what I have done, both on this issue and my office recommended felony charges against uh, the outgoing governor. Uh, or on any other issue, whether that's taking on uh, Big Pharma, filing one of the largest lawsuits in Missouri history, or taking on Big Tech. But I don't think anybody can question my independence or my record as a prosecutor. Josh Hawley is with us on the news line this morning. He's the Attorney General of uh, the state of Missouri. Of course, he is running for Senate against Claire McCaskill. Josh, I need to do traffic and weather together real quick, okay? Hold on. We'll be right back with you. You bet. All right, 809 KMBZ. Major Miles with us to bring us traffic, Mage. Uh, it will get, I know there's a lot going on. We'll get through it as quick as we can, and we'll get right back to Josh. All right, uh, we're still seeing this accident working northbound 69 Highway at 435, left lane, and they're still just getting one lane by. I thought they were getting two, but still just one, and that's backed up to the Blue Valley Parkway merge. Westbound 470, down to two lanes as you approach the triangle. That's jammed still past View High Drive. Scott has a look at the Northland. Southbound 435 from our road work at 210 Highway, pretty solid back to 48th. That's your look up north. Mage. Brought to you by ConcertRoadTrip.com. What a trip to an album release party in New York or L.A.? Visit ConcertRoadTrip.com for details and to find a tire dealer to receive up to $70 back on tires like Michelin and BF Goodrich. Major Miles, KMBZ Traffic. Some rain has moved in this morning. We could see strong storms move back in this afternoon after one high of 87. It is 72 in Kansas City. 810 now on KMBZ, Missouri Attorney General Josh Hawley with us on the news line. Josh, there was a lot of talk here as we uh, got up to the point where uh, Governor Greitens was actually resigning uh, about the effect of the scandal uh, and the, uh, the scandals and the problems that he was having on your campaign. How much of a weight uh, was the controversy in Missouri on your campaign as you tried to move forward? And was it a big relief uh, from the campaign side when the governor finally threw in a towel? Well, you know, I think it has been a, a weight on the state. I mean, it's been a, it's been bad for the state. There's no two ways about it, and that's why uh, this decision is a good one. Uh, it's good for the state of Missouri. It allows the state to move forward. It allows state government to, to move forward and to get back in working order. And you know, as for the campaign against Claire McCaskill, look, uh, we're going to be taking our rep message, holding her accountable for her terrible record. You know, I was elected to be the state's pro top prosecutor. I've done that job. She was elected to be the senator for the state of Missouri and represent us. She's not doing that job in Washington. You know, the last 12 years, she's she managed to get only five bills passed and signed into law. Meanwhile, she won't vote to secure the border. She won't vote to bring down health care costs. She won't vote for conservative judges. I mean, it's an atrocious record for the state of Missouri. We're going to hold her accountable for it. What can you bring to Washington uh, th that's different because right now it's all us against them. And, and frankly, the way you're talking about Claire McCaskill, it sounds a little more like us against them, Republicans against Democrats. Well, the problem with Claire McCaskill is she styled herself as part of the resistance. She styled herself as a no to everything and anything President Trump wants to do, whether that's uh, the first female director of the CIA, who Senator McCaskill inexplicably voted against when other members of her party were, were voting for Gina Haskell, or whether that's tax relief uh, for middle-class families. What we need is somebody who is independent, somebody who is willing to work across party lines and get things done. You know, this state voted for President Trump by 19 points because the people of Missouri were fed up with the D.C. cartel and wanted to get results. Claire McCaskill is 
a partisan liberal obstructionist. You see it in her record from top to bottom, voting with her party almost 90% of the time, with Chuck Schumer over 2,700 times. We need somebody who's going to go stand up for the people of Missouri. That's what I'm doing as Attorney General, and that's exactly what I'll do in the United States Senate. Josh Hawley's the Attorney General for the uh, state of Missouri. He's running against Claire McCaskill. He's with us on the news line this morning. Um, when, it, when you get to Washington, if you're elected senator, what's the biggest issue facing Missourians on a national level? It's the breakdown of the middle class. I mean, it's the threat to our middle class way of life. Look, I grew up in a little town, actually, in your listening area, Lexington, Missouri, Lafayette County. And uh, town of about 5,000 people, towns like that one where I grew up and all over our state are struggling, and not just our towns but our suburbs, middle-class families who are trying to pay these outrageous health care bills, who are trying to afford education, who are trying to afford child care and also get a better job, they are struggling. And that's because we've had an economy that for too long has favored uh, folks uh, on the coast, uh, folks uh, in D.C., which is doing quite well for itself, and folks on Wall Street, but has not worked for the middle class. And Claire McCaskill is a huge part of that problem. You know, she's the number one taker of money from lawyers and lobbyists in the entire United States Congress. She is the candidate of the money. We need somebody who's going to fight for the middle class of Missouri, not for the money. And I think that is, is going to be my number one priority in the United States Senate, my number one priority for the families of Missouri. Missouri Attorney General Josh Hawley is with us. Friday, 5 o'clock, we will have a new governor. And as typical with most positions like lieutenant governor, we don't know that much about the man. What should we know about Mike Parson? Well, you know, I think Mike is uh, hes a good man. He's a family man. He's a grandfather. Uh, a former, uh, he served in uh, the United States Army. Uh, he's a farmer uh, and somebody who has been a privilege to work with for these last two years. I got to know him back in 2015 uh, when he was uh, running for lieutenant governor. and We spent a fair amount of time together out on the campaign trail and just traveling the state together. And, you know, somebody who comes from a farming family myself and comes from a small town, one of the things I've always appreciated about Mike is he's a small town boy, uh, comes, uh, is himself a farmer, still farms. And uh, I think you just see that sort of uh, common sense, no drama, let's get work done sort of attitude, and I think he's going to be a great governor. Hey, Josh, will we see Donald Trump on a stage with you campaigning in Missouri over the next few months? I sure hope so. You know, I sure hope so. The president won this state by almost 20 points for a reason, and it's because he understands that the middle-class way of life, the heartland way of life that we live right here in Missouri that sustained our state for so long, it's in real danger. It's in danger from borders that are open and porous with illegal immigrants pouring across them. It's in danger from wages that have been stagnant for too many decades now. It's in danger from health care costs that are totally, totally out of control. We've got to do something. The D.C. cartel has got to be broken up and held accountable for their record. And by the way, we also need to break up this nexus of big government and big business uh, that for too long has held sway in the country. I think the president understands that, and that's what this campaign's going to be about. You know, I'm thinking about the similarities between Governor Greitens and President Trump, both running as outsiders, making a, a big deal on the fact that they are outsiders and will drain the swamp. But once you get in there, it's a different story. What can the president do to reach out and bring the parties together a little bit more without losing that, that outsider status that he ran on? Well, look, you know, I think the president's a pragmatist. I mean, he's somebody who wants to get results, and that's what we need. That's what we need in the state of Missouri. That's what we need in Washington. I mean, the problem with the D.C. cartel is that it's so riddled by partisanship. It's so focused on what's good for the parties and what's good for the money. And Claire McCaskill is Exhibit A. You know, when the money comes calling, she comes running. Every time it matters, she comes home to her party's money. You know, she talks about it all the time, how how much the money is important to her, how much time she spends raising money. It's money, money, money for Claire McCaskill. It's time we had somebody who's focused on the people of Missouri, not just focused on special interest money. And that's the problem with Washington. All these folks spend their time time thinking about what can I do to please the people who give me money as opposed to what can I do for the good of this country. And I think we need to change the D.C. cartel. And, and it begins with sending Claire McCaskill home. Josh, how do you, and, and this is a serious question, how do you go to Washington and not become part of the cartel? How do you go to Washington and not become part of the swamp? Because I think that's what all of us, the normal guy on the street back home, we know that anybody that goes to Washington becomes part of the swamp. How do you, how do you not do that? 
you know, I think you've got to fight for your independence. And I would say, look, the same is true in Jefferson City, and that's why I'm proud of my record as attorney general. You can say, you know, a lot about me as attorney general, but what you cannot say is that I failed to be independent. I have been a, an independent, aggressive attorney general fighting for the people of Missouri, including taking out my own party when I needed to and when it's the right thing to do. And you have to be willing to do that. I would just say that, you know, I have found in, in serving in government, of course, that my background is not in politics. I mean, my background is in constitutional law. I was just elected attorney general in 2016, so my back, I come to this as a constitutional lawyer. But what I found in government is so often people just, again, they just look to what's easy. They look to their own interests. They look to what their party wants to do. They look to what the money wants to do. We need people who are independent, who are willing to say, look, I'm going to do the right thing, even if it's tough, even if it costs me. I'm going to do the right thing by my constituents. I think you've got to fight for that independence every day. I've done that as Attorney General, and that's exactly what I'll bring to Washington. Josh Hawley, uh, Missouri Attorney General, candidate for Senate uh, for Claire McCaskill's seat later this year. Josh, great to talk to you. We appreciate you taking some time with us this morning. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. You got it.